Hey everybody, it's Friday. Yay, TGIF. It's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you all can find me. Let's see, make sure I'm in the right place. It has been a crazy week. Oh, you guys, I'm so glad January is almost over. It was nice to recoup for Christmas, but I'm ready to start moving towards spring. <laughs> All right, let's see where I'm at. Make sure I'm in the right place. Share, yes, to the, do, 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 demonstrator, yes, dot, dot. Yeah, okay. Hello, hi everybody. Thanks for joining me today. I've got some really fun Valentine projects to show you. And um, we're gonna use the this little kit that's in the spring catalog. Um, it's a just a little card kit, and I have taken all the pieces and turned them into 3D projects for those of us who like to do 3D Valentine projects. Um, one of the things I was waiting for, the UPS guy was supposed to bring me some new kits. I have used almost all of the kit, and so I don't even have to show you. Um, I just have pieces left to make our projects, but I am pretty certain he'll show up during Facebook Live because that's when he likes to come, right? All right, good, it looks like you guys are jumping on. Good to see you. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna open it up so I can see your comments better. Hello, 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 thank you. You guys, um, I posted photos of this yesterday on my, um, well here on Facebook, of my um, million dollar card. When you, do, when you hit a million dollars in sales, Sarah, Douglas, and Shelly Gardner, the co-CEOs, I guess they are, of Stampin' Up, send you this fantastic card um and uh, i'm going to show it to you guys when i flip the camera down okay because it is amazing you have to see it before we do that i'm going to give everybody a couple of minutes to join um we need to draw two more prizes as well last friday um i told you that we were close to hitting that million dollars and that i had i was giving away um a mini cut and emboss machine for every thousand dollars in sales until I hit the million. And so we had two mini cut mini cut and emboss machines left to go. And so I need to pick two more winners. So I think we'll start off by doing that. All right, is that okay? Not everybody's here yet, but I think we can go ahead. I've got everybody's name in here. Everybody who put in orders from the time it started, which was around the 17th, I think, until um, when did I hit it? About Saturday night. So your names are in here, okay? So two more. And if you win, and you already have the mini cut and emboss machine, don't worry. I will get you whatever you want of equal value, okay? <laughs> I actually ordered, how many did I order last week? Five or four? Four or five last week. Sent them off to their new owners. Very exciting. Thank you to everybody who helped um, get me there. I enjoyed it. It was nerve-wracking. I had checked my um, sales on Saturday afternoon about four o'clock and I was still quite a ways away, about seven or eight hundred dollars. And so I thought, well, okay, you know, maybe in the next week. Well, <laughs> lo and behold, I guess they hadn't updated from that day or whatever. We went out to eat, came home, driving home, I thought on a whim, I'll check again. And there it was, about 6.30 in the evening, it was there. So. Thank you, everybody. It was very exciting. It was an odd thing to say in the car to my husband, you know, like, oh my gosh, I hit a million. And he was like, what, what, what? We were all just like, I don't know. We knew it was coming, but it was still really exciting. So very exciting. Um, I should say one of those flowers and that <laughs> green star balloon is from my husband. He brought me flowers as a congratulations and he said, they didn't have any congratulations balloons. So I got you this one. <laughs> I like it, I'll take it. Green for Baylor, that's where I went to college, so we'll just say it's a Baylor Baylor star. <laughs> um, and the other one you can see right there, maybe next to it in the little wood crate, is from um, Sarah and Shelly as well. So it's always fun to get flowers, right? Okay, so let me pick the two winners, are you ready? The first winter winner is Vicki Lee. Vicki, congratulations. Vicki, I will be emailing you. And one more, you ready? Let's see. Norma. Norma, yay! Norma Maggiora? Maggiora. Nora. 
<laughs> Norma, I don't know, but I have you, your email and your mailing address. I'll be emailing you to see if that's what you want or if you want something in its place. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, everybody. If you did order over $50 um, last week, I sent a an embellishment in with your Facebook Friday projects and hopefully they'll be arriving early next week. They went out yesterday. They went out a day late, so yesterday. So they'll probably be there around Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. They go first class mail, so they take a little bit longer. But anyways, thanks everybody and congratulations to our last two winners. Okay, before I flip it down, let me just give you a couple of reminders so that um, I can clear off some of my space. The All-Star Tutorial Bundle. I tell you guys about it every time. 12 different designers from around the world, literally a South Pacific, European, England, like all these different demonstrators. We all come together and we put out this PDF every month. It has 12 video tutorials in it, and each month it features a different suite in the catalog. This month's features the Fine Art Floral um, Suite, which is this these products right here. Um, this is my project, by the way, this month. It is free. You get this PDF for free when you shop online with me. Spend $50 or more, and I send you this for free. I send them about once a week. If you don't get it, email me, because sometimes emails bounce, somebody gets overlooked, it happens. Um, about once a week, I spend about 20 minutes going down the list, pulling out everybody's name, and then I email them. But again, <laughs> I don't know what happens to emails, but they don't all arrive. So if you think that you earned this, please let me know, because I would hate for you to go without it. The second option is to subscribe. Um, that is a six month subscription and it's only available in January. Like you can't do it next month or March or whatever. And it's $15 a month um, and then the six month is free. So when you subscribe, you pay for five, you get six. Um, I have mailed these out to everyone who has subscribed. If you didn't get it again, please, please, please let me know. I, I can't even explain to you how complicated PayPal is. My PayPal account especially, because I have things coming in and out with a PDF store, with classes, with payments. I mean, it is crazy. And I try to be really careful pulling out everybody's name who subscribes. I sort, do all that, but inevitably I miss somebody every time. So if you are a subscriber and you don't get it, please, please, please email me, okay? Because I don't want you to think that I am not giving it to you. Because of course I'm gonna give it to you. Anyways, that the last day to subscribe for this is tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. Of, no, is that right? Suddenly, no, Sunday. I was thinking it was 30 days. Sunday, the 31st, is the very last day. So you have two days left to subscribe, okay? And then as soon as money comes, I turn off the subscription. And then you can only buy them monthly in my PDF store, okay? Next month's um, tutorial bundle, I have the project right here. Let me grab it. It is the... What's that suite called? I can never remember. Oh, the one in the front. You know, the love always. And here's my project for next month. That's so pretty. It's a 3D. Okay, anyway, that's coming. I'll tell you, I'll show you more next week. Okay, so there's that. Um, I keep meaning to do a blog post about this month's Club Create, or actually it's next month's Club Create. Um, February's Club Create projects are going to feature the um, Sweet Strawberry Bundle. And you'll get five projects and about $20 in product. Plus, you're going to get some of this free paper, the celebration paper. Hopefully, I'll have enough to give everybody a half pack, if not close to that. Um, I've been collecting it for my club members. So you'll be getting some of that. Um, you'll get five projects. You get a video tutorial. They're usually about 35, 40 minutes and a PDF. Um, they come in priority rate mail. You have to subscribe by, I'm trying to think of all the details. You have to subscribe by the 7th. So you have until February 7th to subscribe. The PDF with the video link is already available in my PDF store if you just want the PDF. But if you want to subscribe in time to get next month's Club Create Kit, make sure that you sign up um, by the 7th of February. You can go to pinkbuckaroo.com, click the tab at the top that says Club Create, and there are buttons there for you to subscribe. Okay, that's that. All right, and I just finished March's Club Create projects. March is going to be the ice cream suite. Um, that's March's Club Create, and it's cute. That stamp said it's called Sweet Cream, and I don't like that name. 
<laughs> I have strong opinions about stamp names. Have you guys noticed? I either love it or I really don't like it. That one, I don't like. Sweet cream. I don't know. I don't like it. But I do love the paper and the stamps and the dies. I mean, the punch. So stay tuned. That'll be March's Club Create. When you uh, subscribe to Club Create for six months, you get a $25 product bonus of your choice. So I reward you for your six months subscription. Okay, there's that. Um, the next thing is this next February's class to go is the Hydrangea Haven or Hydrangea Hill. The paper is called Hydrangea Hill, but the stamp set's called Hydrangea Haven. Um, it is the class to go for February, and it is six. Let's see if I can hold them all in one hand. Six pretty over the top cards, all featuring the beautiful designer series paper, the dies. It's it's a good class. I really like it. Um, I could not wait to play with this stuff, um, and I'm really pleased with the project. So. This is not a subscription. This is just a class, a one time you sign up for it. There is the option that includes the bundle, the stamps and dies. When you get that option, you're getting the pearls for free. They are non-orderable right now. And they are supposed to be back in stock by the 15th, fingers crossed. <laughs> so this class might be delayed a tiny bit. Almost all of it's on back order, but I Stampin' Up! has been so good with back orders lately that I have confidence that everything's going to be in stock by the time I go to order all of this. Fingers crossed. But anyhow, it'll get to you. It'll get to you, even if it's a little bit late. Um, it'll feature, it'll include a quarter pack of the paper. Look at that paper. Isn't it gorgeous? I love, love this this whole suite. Um, you know, I used to not be a purples girl, but now I love the Stampin' Up! purples, and I love that pattern. Surprise, shocker, I love the gingham. Um, and then, okay, so option one includes the bundle. Option two does not include the bundle. Um, option three is PDF only. You can get the PDF in my PDF store anytime for $15. It's already there. Um, and then option four is for my downline. They get the kit at cost basically and um i had a post-it note here <laughs> with the prices and the deadlines and it's gone surprise this is why i always say don't write things on a post-it note because you're going to lose it um but it is listed at the bottom of today's blog post pinkbuckaroo.com you can click that link it'll take you over to the page that will give you all the details okay so that is coming in february or it's already open for registration but the class will ship in february i ship all my classes at the same time i don't you know like get two orders and cut and ship them and i get three orders and cut and ship them. i would never do anything else if that's all i did so i collect registrations i leave it open for about three weeks so everybody has plenty of time to register and then i close it and i take about a week to cut prep order pack everything and then everything ships a week after the deadline if not a few days earlier um, I do it all at one time that otherwise <laughs> I would lose my mind cutting packs every day is what I would be doing okay so that's that all right I think we're gonna flip down to um down below and I can show you this amazing card okay so close and let's see if I can get this without it falling out and going wonky all right, I'm so jealous of all my friends who have the fancy software and it works. We've tried the fancy software here and it's been a disaster every time. Why? I need like a, a Facebook Live fancy software tutor to come to the house and to do it with me. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. We're just gonna stick to the unfancy switching of the, of the phone until we can get that figured out. Okay, so let's move all of this. And let me just show you this amazing card. So they send you a um, questionnaire before you get to your million. They send you this questionnaire and they ask you, you know, like, what are your favorite stamp sets? What are your favorite colors? Um, it's a pretty intensive <laughs> questionnaire. It took me quite a long time to fill it out. Um, and you can see all of my favorites reflected in what they sent. It's just gorgeous. What, they ask you what your favorite paper is, and this was one of the papers I listed. This is the Field and Flower designer series paper from the um, Celebration Catalog. I love 
it. And I, you know, what I realize I have barely used it. We have hardly used it at all. So I, we only have a month left of celebration. So I need to start using it a little bit more. Um, and the funny thing is, I didn't even read the sentiments until later, um, but they're so cute. The one inside is really cute too. Congratulations, you really are the best. And then these are those stitched blooms. Um, my downline, Heather, had posted something with these a couple of weeks ago. Uh, maybe it hadn't even been that long. And she said these were her favorite dyes. And I was like, I have not even seen those dyes. They're new in the spring catalog and they're stitched. Uh, Carla, funny you should ask about Buffalo Check because I did list that. And that reminds me, I'm going to remind me, I'm going to tell you guys the top three things on my order list. I posted that yesterday and I, for, I was going to tell you guys. So Buffalo Check was not one of the top three, but it was in the top 10 most sold stamp sets, interestingly enough. Okay, so yes, Buffalo Check was listed in my favorites. All right, so there's that gorgeous, look at those stitched. There's a lot of flicking of the ink. They must know I love to flick the ink. And then somebody yesterday asked me what size. You can see this is huge. This is like a full piece of 12 by 12 that they've folded really to make like a, like a little, you know, like a little portfolio or something. It's so cute. And then here's the card. It's got the polka dot bumblebees, you know, po patterns, polka dots, checks, stripes. Um, my um, Stitch Fix person said, she noticed I like stripes when she looked at my Pinterest board. So I guess just patterns, the buffalo check, the gingham, the stripes. I just, I love patterns. So of course I love the polka dots. This, isn't this cute? Congrats. You're so fancy now. How come I've never seen that stamp? I don't know. I haven't seen it. It's new. I had never noticed it, but I love it. Um, so anyway, more of those blooms. There's lots of Wink of Stella and some flicking and just layers and layers and layers. So cute. Every time I look at it, I see something new. There's even these little dots. And then you open it like this. And look, isn't that gorgeous? Talk about over the top decorating the inside of your card. Um, it was super sweet what they wrote. Um, they said, the, the last thing they said was, thanks to you for your beautiful samples and your positive influence on so many others. And that was just really meaningful to me. So Stampin' Up! is so good to their demonstrators. I mean, they just really take care of us. Um, and this just really, really made me feel very, very special. So I thought you guys would enjoy seeing that. It is a treasure for sure. I need to figure out a way to display it somewhere so that I see it all the time. Um, lots of just, I don't know, just, wow, you know, you just kind of like don't even know what to say. Anyway, anyway, that's that. So I hope you guys like it. It's so cute. I just can't stop looking at it. <laughs> really special. Stamping up, really, really special. Okay, we're going to start stamping here in a second. But let me just tell you a couple more things. The starter kit. Um, the starter kit is... Always a great deal, you guys know this. Um, right now, if you buy the starter kit during celebration, which is now until the end of February, you get all this paper for free. See all that paper? Lots of paper, five paper packs. Um, there's, I can't remember how many sheets, it's a ton of sheets of, of designer series paper. Well, if I, let's see if I can do the math, does it say? Somebody tell me, 40, okay, there's 40 times five. 40 times, well, does this one have five? I mean, the end color one, this is the end color. 40, 40, yeah, so 200 pieces of paper, right? Five times four, mm-hmm, that's a lot. And they they match our colors. These are my go-to, I love these. And these patterns aren't even available yet. So during celebration, when you buy the starter kit, which let's look on the, in the celebration catalog right here, page 18, you're gonna get all that paper for free. It's $99 and you pick out $125 in product. I'll tell you that my mom bought the starter kit this week and she bought all Stampin' Blends. <laughs> she bought all Stampin' Blends, oh, and paper snips. That's all she got in her starter kit. It's truly customizable. You can get anything that you want in it. If you want all Stampin' Blends, you get all Stampin' Blends because she's not necessarily a stamper, but she's an artist and she loves our blends and our ink. So, Again, that just goes to show you that the starter kit can be anything that you want. Um, anyways, it's $99. You pick up, uh, pick out up to $125 in product. You get the five packs of paper for free. 
and free shipping. We all love free shipping, so that's the best part. Okay, and then you get to be part of my team, which, which is a pretty good deal. Look at my fingers. <laughs> this is from these projects today. I filmed the videos and my hands are a mess. And I did even wash them too. Um, anyhow, being part of my team, you get lots of perks. Buffy, that's what you did last year. You got all Stampin' Blends. That's awesome. It really is a lot of Stampin' Blends when you get up to $125. It was a lot um, of blends. Yeah, I was excited for her too. Okay, so if you have questions about that, let me know. There's a um, tab at the top of my blog that says join. If you want to click that to find out the details, I will never pressure you to do anything with it you don't want to do. I can teach you how to make a little bit of money. I can teach you how to run a business. I can teach you how to get the most out of your discount if that's what you want. Truly, I would say, gosh, I, 80, at least 80% 80 of people just buy the starter kit for that discount and that is fine. We call them hobby demonstrators or happy shoppers or whatever. If you're your best customer, guess what? You're in the majority. <laughs> that's how it is and that's fine. We know that, Stampin' Up! knows that and don't feel guilty if that's why you wanna buy the starter kit, okay? Okay, now, prizes from last week. Amy Rogers and Maggie Bennett. My handwriting looks awful. I just scribbled those out. Maggie Bennett and Amy Rogers, I have both of your mailing addresses. Thank you for sharing my video last week. You both have earned the A Cut Above stamp set. Okay, ladies, I will get those out to you. And then this week, we've got this cute little baby pool toys. I don't even have the stamp set myself. I ordered it for prizes. And now I'm like, why don't I have this? How cute. Um, everybody needs a good baby stamp set, red rubber. So if you'd like a chance to win, you just have to share the um, video on Facebook and you can just type in the comments that you shared. Okay, we have reached the end of the line. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Did I forget anything? I guess not, I don't know. I mean, I've talked for almost 30 minutes, so surely there's nothing left. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday, I'm glad you're here. Every week I pick a product, usually, um, and then we make three projects with it. Um, and then if you want those make and takes for free, you can put in an order at stampinup.com, use our host code, and um, I will send you all three make and takes for free next week. They look like this. Let's see, here's the donkey projects that I sent last week. You have to have the stamps. I don't do any stamping, but I will do punching and die cutting for you. Uh, if, like this week, there's no dies featured. So any die cuts that are needed, I will cut them for you. Um, I send you a thank you tag. What else? You need adhesive, ink, and stamps, but then you can see, like I'll die cut the heart that you need, I'll score the paper, and I send these to you for free as a thank you for your order. This is kind of replaced my card class that I used to have. My card class locally was always um, free with a purchase. So if you come to card class and you make your cards and then you put it in order, those cards you made were for free. So this has replaced that, um, and it's, it's a pretty good deal. And lots of you have been taking advantage of it, which I greatly, greatly appreciate. Okay, let's get started. So, oh, the other part of that, pinkbuckaroo.com. If you go over there right now, has anybody checked the post went up, right? I have been having the hardest time getting my videos to go from my phone over to my computer. I do AirDrop from my, from my iPhone to my MacBook. And it is taking like half an hour for the, for the videos to get over to my computer. And then it takes half an hour to an hour to upload to YouTube. So if anybody has tips on that, please let me know. I don't know why it's taking so long. I, I spent about 45 minutes on Friday mornings filming the videos in clean little recordings. So when you come back, you can watch those on YouTube. And um, it takes me 45 minutes to film them. And then it takes me all day to get them over to my computer and up onto YouTube. It shouldn't be like that. And I'm obviously doing something wrong or my computer is slow. I don't know. So if anybody has tips on that, please let me know. All right. Is my sign crooked? It is. Ugh, I can't stand that. Sorry. Hold please. Let's see if that works. Um, so this week we are going to make three Valentine treats using 
Oh, the my whole point of that, my tangent a minute ago was if you, okay, good. Thanks, Gina. Thanks, Robin. If you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll under the last photo, there's a link that says click here for the PDF. That's this. You'll get this. It's free. There's no cost. It's you for you to use. Oh, Susan, yours have been taking several hours too. All right. <sighs> there's got to be a better way. There's got to be. And I, well, anyway, I won't bore you guys, but anyway, I can't figure it out. This is free for you. It has the host code for the free projects if you need that. It has the products that I used and all the measurements. And then it has everything that I just talked to you about on here as well, the links for you. You can save it, print it, download it. I don't care. Whatever you need to do, it's there for you. Now, what are we using? If you guys have your spring catalog, on page 16, there's these two adorable products. First, the Valentine Keepsake Stamp Set, which was designed to go with a curvy keepsake box. And coincidentally, I didn't even use it for that. I didn't, I should have, I should have at least made a sample, but I didn't. I've used it along with these to make some 3D projects. This is a $10 mini card kit. And let me show you the pieces that I do have left. They're, they're good for like little Valentine exchanges. They're just cards and envelopes. So card bases and envelopes. Um, they're cute. I, you have, what does it say, 10, 10 cards. I was reading earlier while I was trying to talk. Makes 10 cards included, double-sided and printed. So it has five of these, five of these, five of these, and then five of this one, which I don't have any of them left except for what we're going to use today. Um, so you could make, well, that's, that's not right. Then that's more than 10 cards, right? It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it you could make a lot more than 10. Why does it say 10? I guess because you layer these on the card like that. Well, that seems crazy because you're covering it up. Well, anyways, you can either make the cards like they show, and they do have four different little samples there, or you can make 3D projects like me. And not only do I have the three that we're going to be doing today, I'm turning the fan up. If the camera starts shaking you guys tell me starts kind of swaying um what was I gonna say oh that's my train of thought I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say oh goodness goodness anyways this is what we're gonna make okay here this is I think this is what I was gonna say I also have a fourth project but it's gonna be uploaded on Monday it's gonna be a bonus it is a super cute hand sanitizer holder. Look at that. Does it not match? I mean, it's like it was made to go. This is from Target. Have you guys seen these, Carla? Have you seen these at Target? They're like a dollar and they're in the Valentine section because, you know, of course you're going to give hand sanitizer during a pandemic at a Valentine's Day. <laughs> of course. Okay. Hello, everybody who's joining. I'm glad you are here. We're just getting started. Let me move everything out of the way and we will start making the first box move my cut and emboss machine because we don't need it. All right. The very first project we're making is this little box. And you can see that I have used one of these cards. And they're double-sided, but that side is not nearly as cute as that side. So, of course, we're going to do that. Melon Mambo Pool Party makes a great combination, don't you think? Okay, now... <laughs> And I also noticed in my video, so this is my original, and then in my little video I made today, look what I did. I, what, what, I, <laughs> I did the wrong side, designer series paper. So when you, if you go to watch the clean recording, just pretend like you don't see that I did the wrong side. I've done that twice this week on a video. Now the camera's rolling. And it is funny because I don't notice it till later. Anyhow, let's see if we can make it the right way this time. All right, let me get all of my pieces. Not a whole lot of things you need for these projects. They're pretty simple. But you know what I do need is my PDF. And I would have put it somewhere. Of course, Erica. Okay, so while I'm looking for that, I asked you guys, what do you think were the top three things? Chad Williams is my DDM. He's like my direct contact at Stampin' Up!, and we were talking on Monday and I said, my husband asked how many orders is $1 million? And he said, I'll find that out for you. So 
along with that information, which is going to be another quiz, so I'm not going to tell you yet. Along with that information, he found out, out some really cool information. And of course, I, ha I can't, I didn't write it down, so I'm going to pull it up. Ma he said, what do you think the number one thing is that you sold in a million dollars? And my initial response was white card stock. Like, to me, that was initially my response. That would be wrong. You guys knew exactly what it was, many of you. Dimensionals. In the last 11 and a half years, I have sold 1,488 packs of dimensionals. <laughs> that actually feels a little low, in my opinion. I would think it would be much higher than that. Um, number two, white envelopes, which was my second guess, envelopes. I have sold 1,423 units of white envelopes. Okay, are you guys surprised by any of this? Number three, and why didn't I think about this? This doesn't shock me at all. Number three, linen thread. Hello, I use it 75% of the time, do I not? I have sold or purchased myself 848 units <laughs> of linen thread. All right, so then it goes, Whisper White Cardstock was number four. Number five, was logo sacks. If you're a demonstrator, you know that we get these white bags. That, I feel like that has to be wrong. Or they're counting them as individual sacks. I don't know because we used to get them free in our orders. I don't know. That seems weird that that would be number five because that's not even a product. I don't know. Number six, this will not shock you. Fast fuse refill. Number seven is the cello bags. You know, the cello bag that I put everything in. Then Baker's Twine, Whisper White, hello, or Solid White, Baker's Twine, of course. Then Many Glue Dots. And then, last but not least, number 10, Whisper White Thick Cardstock at 428 units, which again, seems kind of low. <laughs> I loved that information and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys because it's kind of a running joke of how many dimensionals I used. And linen thread, I can't stop using the linen thread. So, Anyhow, thank you, Chad. I have some other fun information for you guys that I will be sharing over on Facebook next week. All right, back to stamping. First, we'll make the bottom. And this is a piece of, let me look at the right page. This is a piece of basic white thick cardstock. It is six and five eighths by seven and five eighths. And we're just gonna score it at two inches on all four sides. I didn't even show you guys what's in the box. Were you asking? Valentine ding dongs? Yeah. <laughs> you can't say ding dong without laughing. Even every time I typed it, I didn't even want to type it. Valentine ding dongs. Target, Walmart, they're everywhere. They fit nicely. They also fit in our little slider boxes too. Okay, so we did that. Now you're gonna get pool party and this is four and five eighths. You know, it says four and five eighths by four and five eighths. That's a typo. It is four and five eighths by five and five eighths. I need to fix that. If you have printed this out already, make sure you fix that. Five eighths. We're gonna score this one, one inch on all sides, but this is the lid. And to make it a little bit bigger than the bottom, we're gonna use a shim. This is, um, I don't know, like six or seven post-it notes. And I'm gonna put them here on the side. And I'm gonna, it's gonna create just a little bit of a, you know, like a sliver of space here so that my lid is just a sliver bigger, if that makes sense, than the bottom. And you're gonna do one inch on all four sides. This only works when you do all four, you know, when you rotate it like this. I, In my early days, I thought it would work no matter how you score it, but only when you are, you know, rotating the cardstock. All right, let's make the lid first. Let me get all the things that I need over here. <laughs> he said, what, Carla? Just like the plain ding-dongs. I laughed. <laughs> she bought them for her husband. And he was like, well, they're just like the plain ones. Yeah, but they're Valentine's. Buffy says, I got a package from Erica once and a dimensional paper flew out upon opening. Free confetti. <laughs> Boy, I could have a lifetime supply of confetti if I saved my dimensional papers. Yeah, that is hilarious. I see them everywhere, I've, everywhere. 
All right, I am cutting the corners off from score line to score line. Okay, and then I'm gonna snip the score lines, whoops, on the short side. They're always in my carpet. I sit and watch TV in the evenings while, you know, putting cards together, whatever, swabs, whatever. And they're always in the carpet. <laughs> they, uh, they're slick, they're hard to pick up. Hello, Chris from Australia, from the future. It's tomorrow over there, isn't it? Saturday morning, I would venture to guess. I have to be at a tennis tournament tomorrow morning. All right, so see what I'm doing? I'm putting Tombow on those triangles, folding up the side, pressing them in, and then I'm just gonna take my little clothespins and do that. I'm worried now about that wrong measurement. I'm gonna have to go edit that video too. Uh, I didn't catch it this morning, I don't know why. Okay, now, on the side of the box, let me show you. I stamped this cute little image, these little heart flowers right here, on the sides right here. One thing I noticed is that if you put them too high, the, this is gonna cover them up. So you wanna put them lower down you see that a little bit lower down so that you can see them when the, the lid is on the box, okay? So let's go ahead and cut. And then we're gonna use our Stamparatus and Stamp and Write markers to color this stamp. I'm doing this uh, box bottom exactly like I did the lid, cutting the corners and then snipping the short sides like that. Hello, Valentina from Glendale, California. Glad you joined us. Okay, now is Sandy here? Sandy asked me a great question um, yesterday or today about storing your stamps. And I thought when I got out my stamps for my stamp apparatus, I would show you this real quick. There's lots of ways to store your stamps inside your, um, inside your case. One thing I really like to do is to keep the paper and just leave them on here like this in my um, case. For me, it helps me visually see I'm missing two stamps, right? So this is if you are putting the stickers on your stamps, okay? So when you peel them off and you stick them down on the sticker sheet, then I just leave them there. Um, however, there's some other things that you can do. This one, she said, um, this one's like that. She said, I think she said she did not always put her stickers on. And Sandy, believe me, the only reason I do it is because I make videos. And not, not all of them are on the stickers like this one, you can see. Now this is the other option that is really good. If you leave the, um, the you know, the big foam sheet in here, I always just, if I'm, for a stamp set like this is gonna take me a long time to put the stickers on. I'm lazy and I don't do it until I use the stamps. So I leave the sticker sheet there and I just leave my red rubber, um, sheet in there that way it's like a little puzzle and you again will know if you um are missing any um but then sometimes i just stick them straight to the case like that and i don't keep the sheet but again you're back to how many stamps am i supposed to have eight and you count you don't know so it really is good to either keep the sheet the sticker sheet or the foam sheet and then your photopolymer um what you should do is put some adhesive here and stick this down. So then it's the sticker sheet again and you will know if you're missing any. So that's my take on, on stamp storage. I know it was a little caveat right in the middle of a project, but I knew I would think about it when I got that stamp out for our Stamparatus. Okay, so I'm gonna put my paper down here. Now I have this here from last time. So I'm just gonna use those same lines and I'll show you in a minute. Let's fold that down. I'll show you in a minute why I drew those. So put your paper down first, okay? On your stamparatus, got my magnets. And then take your stamp and lay it down so that, you know, we could do it like that, sure but then the lid is gonna come down and you're not gonna see any of those hearts. So I'm gonna move it down pretty low like that. One thing that's gonna happen here is that I'm gonna be stamping on the bottom of the box. 
if you don't like that, if that is like, oh, cringy, as my kids would say, then just take like a post-it note and cover that up right there, okay? So now when we stamp, it's gonna be just there and it's that's gonna be covered. All right, so I'm gonna use Melon Mambo and Pool Party Stampin' Write Markers. Our Stampin' Write Markers are ink just like our ink pads. Um, they are different than our Stampin' Blends. I have tried coloring stamps with my Stampin' Blends like this and it doesn't quite work the same. You can play around with it and see. I haven't done it in a really long time. Um, but you color right on the stamp and then stamp it down. The reason I'm using the Stamparatus is because the first time you do it, it's gonna be kind of washed out. But this way we can build that color. We can do it a couple of times to make that color nice and vivid, okay? So just layer on the ink. The first time you ink up your stamp is always like, you know, like the first pancake you make is like, not good. <laughs> it's the same with the first time you do this. And then the second time the ink starts to build up on your, um, look, isn't that beautiful? So much better. Okay, so two times really is all I need. Now, oh, the reason I have that line is because I have, I'm leaving this here. So what I did is I took my pencil and just drew a line around that so that now I can lay this right down in there and it's gonna be exactly in the same spot that I need it. You can use the lines on your grid paper, obviously, but I wasn't thinking ahead and didn't do that. <laughs> so I just took my pencil and drew a line. All right, so let's do that again. Melon Mambo hearts, and then pool party stems. It's getting warm in here. I've got to figure out, sometimes my camera shakes depending on how it's clipped to the lights. But if I don't have it clipped to the lights, then it doesn't shake. I don't know. I thought I'd fixed it, but when I turn that fan on, it starts to kind of roll. And I actually had the space heater on in here before the turn the video the camera on. Sometimes something about making a video makes me hot. All right, did I color all of them? I can't tell, let me see. I think I forgot that one. All right, and then there we go. So cute. This was one of the first things I learned um, after I started buying stamps. My downline, Deborah, who she was not my downline then, she was a demonstrator under somebody else a long time ago. I had her son in kindergarten. She came to my classroom and taught me how to color my stamps. I always think of her when I do that. Okay, so now let's put the bottom together. You know what, let's, uh, before we do that, let's put the paper. Did I leave my pizza over here? I sure did. Let's put the designer series paper, the right, facing the right way, surely. Happy Friday, Jessica. Oh, this is another busy weekend for us. I don't know, I kind of like the weeks better than the weekend. Basketball, we've got basketball tonight and t Sunday, and we've got tennis tomorrow, tennis tournament, and my daughter, she had a rabbit show this week, and she plays, so she's going to auction tomorrow night, which is like, <sighs> it's a big time commitment. I like Mondays. <laughs> Kids go to school, somewhat go to school. All right, fold it up just like we did on the lid. Now you can use um, Stampin' Seal Plus for your box. You can use tear and tape, but I have really started to use, prefer um, the Tombow Liquid, multi-purpose liquid glue. I am a mess when I use it. I'm not very nice and neat with it, but my boxes never pop open. This kind of box, for some reason, always pops open if I use something else. I use I, on my other 3D projects, I don't have a problem, but this box here in this humid environment always pops open. So I have started using this and it works a lot better. Okay, so here's our lid. I took the clips off of that. Let's finish decorating that. I am gonna use stamp and seal on this and it's gonna fit just right down into that. Let's see if I've got it. Close enough. 
it's going to cover up those dots, but it's not going to be outside of the scallops. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we're going to do this ribbon around. And instead of just trying to tie the ribbon and hope it doesn't slip and then it's going to fall off, well, we're going to use tear and tape. Oh, Lisa, it was. It's that time of the year where the kids just start to... Ugh. I remember, you know, the first semester, everybody's still pretty much on their best behavior. And then second semester, things just <laughs> start to start to unravel. I know, it's hard. Okay, tear and tape all the way around. Okay. Whose birthday is tomorrow? Janie, it's your birthday tomorrow. Well, happy birthday. Everybody's having a quarantine birthday these days. Remember back in like March and April and everybody, oh, my poor child's birthday. We're in quarantine. Well, little did we know it'd be January and we'd still be having quarantine birthdays. Little did we know. All right, peel that off and now take your, oh, come on, take your, what is this ribbon called? Blushing Bride metallic ribbon. It's metallic on one side and then kind of satiny on the other. And I'm going to wrap it. You want to make sure you give yourself enough over here on this end um, to tie your bow. All right, so you might want to judge it first before you put the adhesive down. Well, it does pop off pretty easily too if you needed to like peel it up a little bit. It, it is uh, a little more forgiving than other things, than paper. Per se. All right, so wrap that until you get to the middle, right there, and then trim. And then let's see if our box is ready. We will put our ding dong <laughs> inside of it. You know, I honestly don't know if I have ever eaten a ding dong. I'm sure I have, right? I'm sure. I don't know. What did I eat? Oh, I ate something today. <laughs> Why can't I get back on track, you guys? Why? Why can't I get back on the no sugar, low carb, healthy eating? I just cannot. I ate some jelly bean hearts today. Now, granted, there, there are worse things, right? However, I still have sugar, which just is that slippery slope. Sugar, sugar, sugar. I, fingers crossed, am going to Maui in May with Stampin' Up. I have got to get on track. <laughs> I gained nine pounds this year, and it needs to get away. It needs to go. There we go, you guys. That was probably TMI. You don't want to know that, but yeah, maybe it'll make you feel better. Anyhow, look, that's it. We're done. So cute. Easy, I think. Well, maybe medium. Not the simplest thing we're making today, but definitely cute. This one needs... <laughs> I've got to fix that. All right. Anyway, there you go. First project. All right. Oh, Brittany, yours is a Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is hard. Yeah, because it's sugar. Mine's Diet Coke, which in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, it's diet. But we all know it's not good. We, we all know it's not good for you. I don't know. Anyhow. All right. Let's move on to project number two. Let me clean up the mess. And it is, Karen, it's very frustrating being quarantined. I think, I keep blaming my bad eating habits on that. But I mean, at what point did that not need, you know, like, I can't use that as an excuse anymore. All right, let's see what we've got next. We're going to need the paper trimmer. Let me make room. Okay, next, we're going to make what is called a matchbook. And it's exactly that. It's just a matchbook. Pops open like that, slides in like that. You guys have probably seen these. You've probably made these before. But one of these little cards is the perfect amount of cardstock that you need to make this. Um, inside are the, have y'all seen the little Haribo, um, is that how you say it? The gummy bear cartoon where the, People are in the, like the board, they're having like a meeting and they're all like business people, but they're talking in kid voices. It's 
so cute. Every time I see this, I think of that. Anyway, that's what these are. Um, Valentine Exchange, little Valentine um, gummy bears. And there's not very many in there. So this would be a good, look, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, only five. So if you have good self-control, you could have one of these a day and that would be okay, right? <laughs> I don't like gummy bears, darn it. Okay, portion control, it's all about portion control. Okay, let's start by making the holder. That commercial's funny, right, Stacy? Um, Donna says, that's why I stay in my craft room and keep my hand and head busy and not think of food. You know, I have so much candy in my craft room because of all of this that I every time I walk in, I'm like, I need a, I need a treat. I need something sweet. It's bad. Very bad. All right, we're going to cut this down. We're just going to cut it in half, basically, to, I believe it's three and a fourth. Oh, my gosh, it slipped. Ah, and I don't have any more. Okay, we're going to pretend like that didn't happen. Cut it in half. <laughs> and then, this is the front piece, okay? And you can decide, do you want more of this color to show or more of this color? And of course, you know I love this color. So we're gonna put the score line on the opposite side because it's gonna fold back. So we're gonna score this at three-fourths of an inch from here. So if you're looking on this side, that would be at three and a half, okay? So there is that, oh, come on. You know what, look at that. I'm gonna trim it, I'm gonna trim it. It won't matter, I'll have to trim the other one so it'll be just a little bit. Let's see, what did I trim it at? I can't even see, so like three and an eighth. Okay, you don't have to do that. The only reason I did that is because I messed it up. All right, so we've got that one. Now this is the back side. Let's trim it to match three and an eighth. Make up for my boo-boo. All right, now, this one, if you will imagine, is gonna fold up here, okay? So you're gonna score this one at half of an inch, which would be at three and three fourths. The red ones are the best, <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> That's funny, That's exactly what they say. They're so cute. Okay, so now we're gonna take this. This is the front. Remember the pretty one is the front. Let's cut off those corners. Get your adhesive and fold it down and match up those edges. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Match up those edges like that. All right, so then now that's what it looks like. You've extended it, made this little fold. All right, now here for your, where did my gummy bears go? Right here, for your gummy bears, you gotta flatten it out and get those gummy bears towards the top and put this down in here. When you staple, you wanna staple as low as possible because if you staple up here, then this is not gonna tuck in. So you've gotta get your little candy all the way tucked down as far as you can go. And then about halfway, let's see if I can get it caught in there. Yeah, okay. All right, so then you've got that and then you just Fold that in. So easy, so easy. All right, now I've done a little bit of the cutting ahead of time. I have cut this with, no, nope, basic white. It's taking me some time to relearn the name of our white. Basic white um, stitched postage shape. This is from the snail dies. Okay, there we go. And that's all the stamping we're gonna do. And this, of course, is from the Valentine Keepsakes. Now, we're gonna cut out the love from the Always Dies. By the way, I told you guys we were gonna do all cards today with this bundle. And then I realized last weekend that we only had two Facebook Fridays until Valentine's Day. So I felt like we needed to put those off. So those will be coming in February. I told you we would be doing the gold leafing, I promise, and now I'm changing it. I'm so sorry. It will be coming in February. Next week, we'll probably be doing the Galentine set. If I can, is that the name of it? If I can, I don't know, maybe. And then the week after that, I'm gonna show you a new, two new products that we're gonna have. Um, it's the Hey Chick. 
stuff. If you haven't seen yet, we're going to have dies to match the hey birthday chick. Um, so that'll be the following week. And then we'll get back to this bundle. I have the samples made. They're cute. Um, so I apologize. Sometimes I have to change gears after I've told you what we're going to do. All right, so this is the word love, and this is like the little cloud that goes around it. We're going to take a piece of um, our adhesive sheet, and we're going to put it on the back of this gold foil to turn our love word into a sticker. That way, no messy, um, no messy glue. All right, the little guy, where is he? The little cut and emboss machine. He's so cute. The mini. He's the mini. We're going to put him on here and run it through. I hope that those of you who won the mini cut and emboss last week, hopefully you have it. Hopefully you got it. I don't know. I put some of your orders in on Friday, so those hopefully are there. And then, But then I think a couple of you, it wasn't until Sunday, so they'll be coming later. All right, so there's our, that's vellum, the little cloud. And then the Hey Chick, there's a Hey Birthday Chick stamp set in the catalog that you've probably seen. It's based on, well, it was inspired by a stamp set that was a celebration stamp set in 2017 called Hey Chick. Well, they're bringing that stamp set back with dies that match both the Hey Birthday Chick and the Hey Chick. Um, stamp set and it's so stinking cute so that will be Facebook Friday probably week after next all right so I have cut these out we're going to peel off that backing and put those right there and then we'll do this one and put that right there like that now, stamp and seal doesn't show through vellum. I don't know if you guys have noticed. At least for me, it hasn't. It doesn't. So I use that to put that right there. Isn't that cute? So cute. I love those scripty, the love and the always. The always, I just, I don't know. I haven't used it very much, but the love. We need a bunch of words in this font. Like love, happy, hello, thanks. I don't know. They didn't ask me. I do get to design a stamp set. And I will tell you guys, I have a list of ideas, but nothing jumps out. N nothing like, I definitely want this, you know, like I have like seven or eight I kind of ideas. So if you guys have something that you feel strongly about, let me know. I want it to be cute, obviously. I want it to have some coloring, you know, to use our stamp and blends. Um, I want it to be a good seller. I don't want it to just be something that is in the seasonal catalog and then goes, you know, like, which I lean towards doing something fall related, but I don't know how long that would hang around, if that would retire after just a couple months. So I'm thinking if you guys have ideas, Shout them out. Okay, so Ashley's saying a Western style stamp set. Yes, that is on my list. And really the top of my list was cactus. But we have both of those in this catalog right now. So I feel like, you know, there goes that idea. I don't know. It'll take a couple of years from start to finish before we actually see it. But still. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, this is way too long. Let me see. This feels way too long. All right. We're gonna add one last thing to this project to cover up our staples. This is the snail white twine. And I'm just gonna take my, um, oh, come on, I have to get started like this. There we go. My uh, blend, my Magenta Madness Stampin' Blend. There we go. And pull it through a couple of times and that will color it. I also saw somebody use their blending brush to do this. So there's always that way. Now that's why my hands were inky because this ink is alcohol based and it does dry fast, but it doesn't dry immediately. 
<laughs> so you have to give it a couple minutes. All right, so just color your ink to match, I mean, color your twine to match. <sighs> Please dry. The other day when I did this, oh, I didn't get it all. Oh, well, we're gonna move on. The other day when I did this, it didn't dry and it left smudges <laughs> on the project. I didn't give it enough time. Paper doll set with matching dyes. That's very cute, Cindy. Mom barbed wire, we have, oh, look, I did, I smudged it. We have a barbed wire um, die right now. We have a Western set right now that just came out. You know, in rabbits, I mm, thought about rabbits, but I don't love rabbits like other things. I don't know. I don't know. Cowboy boots. I don't know, Mom. I don't know. I just feel like I want it to be, I want it to appeal to everyone. And I don't know if a Western with stamp sets, I mean, with cowboy boots would, would appeal to everyone. I don't know. Holiday sentiment for old, odd holidays. Michelle, that's a cute idea. I have a list. And if you, okay, we're done with that. <laughs> Stop talking about it. There's our project. It's very cute and it's very easy and it uses one card only. You'll have 10 of these cards. You could make 10 of these. Send them on their way. And if you're gonna make 10, just use white twine. You don't have to get fancy and color the twine. All right, ta-da, there's that one. Um, I love fall pumpkins, fall leaves, Halloween, all of that. But if I do that, then that's not a stamp set we could use all year long. And I'd really like for it to be a stamp set we could use all year long. We shall see. We shall see. Um, something like Bella. Yeah, I loved Bella because you could color it in. I do love any of the coloring in stamp sets, the ones that you can color the stamp and blends. So like the zebra, I love the zebra. It's very cute. I don't know, it's gonna be really hard for me to narrow it down. It's gonna be hard for me to commit to one thing. All right, we are to our last project and it's three o'clock already. This is a Tic Tac holder. These are Valentine Tic Tacs. You can find them anywhere and everywhere. You can make this project for non-Valentine Tic Tacs. All right, so you're gonna need a piece of, where did my Simply Score go? Here it is. You're gonna need a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock that is, um, see, now I'm gonna be distracted. Dean, I, I do have teacher stamp set as on my list. I just wonder how, you know, will that appeal to, to lots of people? I don't know. Um, Nina, traveling or cruising, I have thought about that too. Um, the hiking, the mountains, but again, we have something like that. Big sentiments, Karen, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, cowgirl, cowboy, yep, farm. Yeah, Denise, but but we have that already, right? I mean, right now in the catalog. Um, <laughs> Lisa, if you guys have not checked out Subpar Parks, it is an Instagram account where this girl, she is like a... Um, a digital artist, and she has made um, an image for every national park based on really bad reviews. So like the Grand Canyon, someone left an online review that said a really big hole or something, you know, rude and ugly about the Grand Canyon. So she takes them and she illustrates it and puts the words and they are hilarious. I, I actually buy those prints for all the parks that we go to, Lisa, and I have the calendar. If you guys haven't checked it out, subpar parks. It is hilarious. Just go look at them and read them. And it's so funny. Okay. I'm going to focus on this project because I could just sit and talk to you guys all day, but let's get it done. This one is really, really easy. Two by 10 and a fourth melon mambo. We're going to score at one and a half, one and three fourths, four and three fourths, five and a half, eight and a half, eight and three fourths, and that's it. Nothing on the short side. You know, my mom is an artist, and I have wondered if she could help me with the the illustrations of my stamp set. I don't know what the what the rules are with that because Stampin' Up does have their own artist. But wouldn't that be neat if my mom could illustrate my some of my stamp set? Yeah, we threw that around, but I gotta I gotta. I gotta decide what I want. All right, now this is gonna fold up like this and these are gonna go in and up, okay? So in and up like that. It's 
but we're gonna punch these ends right here first, which I should have done already. We're gonna punch these ends with the fancy tag topper punch. Hey Sandy, were you here earlier when I showed stamp sets? I showed how I was storing my stamp sets. I don't know if you were already here or not. I mean, yeah, how I put my stamps in my stamp cases. Okay, now this can go in here like this, just like that. Um, it's loose, it'll stay, but if you're like me, that makes me nervous. So I like to just take, um, where's my glue dot? Just a couple of glue dots and stick it. That way they can pull it out easily, but it also has just a little something holding it there. All right, so put that and then just kind of stick it to that to the back side. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to put something on top of there. We're going to get pool party sheer ribbon. Oh, Judy, military. Yeah, Coast Guard does get forgotten a lot. You're right. Boy, and those military stamp sets are always really popular too. And we don't have them very often. Maybe that's why they're so popular. There's so many things, so many. When you you think, oh, I'm going to, you know, pick something. It's going to be easy. It's going to, but then you get to it and you're like, oh, I find an excuse for every idea that I come up with. Like, oh, no, that won't be good because I think once I start working with Stamping Up on it, they'll be able to help guide me a little bit better. Okay, here's this pool party sheer ribbon. It's very light, it's very pretty holding that together. Now we're gonna take this card, and this card is so pretty, I hated to cut it. Um, you've got this side, and you've got this side, and I love this side, but we are gonna cut it. Um, we're gonna, we need the piece on the front, it's on this um, PDF, we need it to be one and a half wide by two and three fourths. So if you cut it right between these two hearts, this row and this row, you actually will save, make sure I have it on there right, you will actually save this whole piece. So you could use this too for something else. All right, now we're gonna cut off this side. Oh, is that right? Yep, okay. And then it needs to be, let's cut that off right there at the top. It needs to be, how long did I say? Did I not finish filling this in? Look, I left things off. Oh my, I'm gonna have to go back and fix several things. Um, <laughs> it just caught my eye. I will fix it, I promise. Two and three fourths. Two and three fourths. There we go. So now we have just this little piece like that. And save that, I don't know what for, but that, you could even just cut it and that could be like a little tag. That's really cute. All right, so we're gonna put this on the front. The hats, I didn't see the hats. Does your mom offer classes for her watercolor? Um, Elizabeth, she, not locally, no. She's doing, she's a member of Sketchbook School, which is a website. She's been offering some, well, I don't know, do you call it a class, mom? She's been offering some instruction through Sketchbook School. Um, if you are um, an artist, she, not just watercolor, but they do sketching, they do, she does things on her iPad, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's, it's a really cool deal. Okay, now, the, um, or the sentiment, we're gonna stamp it. Oh. And my, my Melon Mambo ink pad is backwards and it has been backwards since I got it years ago. And I need to just get a new one because one of these days I'm gonna break my finger trying to open it the wrong way. Um, I'm gonna put it there on basic white and take my rectangular postage stamp punch and just stamp or just punch part of it like that so we have a straight edge. And then we will put it with dimensionals. You're a group leader facilitator. Okay. I bet you'll be teaching some lessons at some point. You know, I feel like that needs to be cut off just a little bit more. Can I make it straight with my scissors? I can. There we go. Let's do a little bit higher like that off to the edge. Now I have a little tiny scrap of pool party designer series paper. This is from the Subtles 
designer series paper stack just like the ones I showed you that you're gonna get in your starter kit just a little tiny just a little I mean like half an inch by an inch okay a little piece there and then I'm gonna put a pearl there maybe the pearls were here earlier where did they go am I looking at them I haven't even used them What is happening? Always the third project, the wheels come off. Oh, here they are, under my trimmer. I, when I listed my supplies on this, when I was typing that last night, um, half asleep, obviously, I thought this was a pearl that I put on here, but when I, under closer inspection today, I realized that it was not a pearl. Can you guys see? It's one of those little tiny resin hearts. So do whichever you feel like. Okay, but wait, we're not done. Let's get the heart charms. And these are on back order. Urgh. Hopefully I have enough for make and takes. I think I have two packages of them, maybe three, to send you in your make and take package. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I have enough. And, but they'll be back. I think you can still order them. They're just on back order. All right, we've got quite a few things on back order right now. But Stampin' Up's gotten really good about the back orders not taking very long. You know, in years past, it would be like, it'll be back in stock in three months. And it was, you know, like we just wanted to cry. But now, things are usually on back order for just a couple of weeks. They've improved it greatly. All right, tie that onto that bow with some more snail twine and that's it. Very cute. Oh, Amazon is here. Charlie, hopefully he's upstairs. All right, we made it. We've got three projects here, all using that really cute, um, sweet Valentine cards and more. It, it's not called a kit. It's called cards and more, but it's a it's a kit, I would think. I mean, it's just really card bases and envelopes. Anyhow, I hope you guys like these. Now, remember, Monday, I'm going to have a bonus video for you. I already filmed it. It'll just go to my blog on Monday for one more bonus project using um, one of the cards um, and the Target hand sanitizers. Um, oh, you guys, my mom says she's going to be interviewed by Sketchbook School live on Instagram to discuss my year-long sketch journey in the next few months. If you want to follow my mom on Instagram, it's Jan Go. Is it just Jan Go, mom? J-A-N-N-G-O-G-H. She is a real artist. Um, she did 365 days of sketches this last year. She posted something every day. She did a sketch every day. Sometimes it was just a sketch. Sometimes it was a full painting. Sometimes it was something digital she did on her iPad, but she did 365 pro like projects or not projects, pieces. I mean, her stuff's amazing. You guys should go check her out on Instagram, Jan Go. Um, she's a real artist. I grew up with a real artist mom. Um, so my, um, daughter is following in her footsteps. She's a real artist too. I'm a crafty person. I, um, say there's, there's a difference. A paper crafter, paper artist is different than what they do. Um, and she says she did it because I challenged her to, um, when she retired from being a high school art teacher, moved down here with my dad and just wanted to have something kind of going on the side. And um, I told her, you got to start building up your following online, mom. And she did. She did 365 days straight. I mean, that's amazing. That's a lot of work. So if you guys want to check her on Instagram, go find her. Jan Go, J-A-N-N-G-O-G-H. She's pretty awesome. And then you can find um, information about Sketch School there too as well. If you are a real artist like my mom. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Next week, my plan is to do one more week of Valentine's. Not all treats, some cards using, what is it called? Hearts and Kisses, this one. But I will tell you that I'm having a little bit of trouble with this, coming up with projects that I like. 
you know, you guys always say, you make it look so easy. Well, let me tell you, there are times when I cannot make anything that I like and I'm having trouble. I love this stamp set and it's frustrating me. So hopefully next week we will do this. I'm not making any promises because <laughs> right now I've, I'm i having a creative block. I don't know. I can't, I cannot get it, but hopefully I will have things. I ordered a couple of candies that are coming today that will hopefully get the juices flowing, not because I'm going to eat them, but because they are lips and they're cute. All right, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Be safe and let me know if you have questions. Again, thank you so much for all of your support this last week, especially, but of course the last 11 years, you guys are amazing. Um, and I appreciate you. Thanks everybody. See you next week. Bye.